It's Thanksgiving today, which means I'm going to tell you what I'm thankful for. Three things. First thing is you guys. The support on the YouTube channel recently has been fucking ridiculous. I mean, look at this shit. You guys are crazy. Second thing, playerhot.com. That site is a blessing. And then third thing, which is basically the stuff into the turkey, is Code Elite at checkout. Get yourself a discount on playerhot.com. What the fuck is going on guys? Welcome to the Elite Suite and today I'm going to be building all of the marquee matchup squad building challenges for the Black Friday weekend. Chelsea versus Spurs is the first one. You need one Chelsea player, one Spurs player, exactly gold, and the chemistry needs to be 55, but it's a different formation than normal. We get a two rare gold player pack along with 1500 coins. The squad is in total price of 4400 coins and you only need two center mids, three center backs, and a goalkeeper. The cheapest goalkeeper you're going to want to go with Heaton. But the trick to this is just getting the cheapest English player from each of these positions other than Deli Alley and John Terry. You're going to want to use whichever is cheaper, Gary Cahill or John Terry. Deli Alley is going to be the cheapest card, so definitely use him. Put Deli Alley at left center midfielder. Then use the cheapest English center midfielder. Right now, it is cleverly. Use the cheapest two English center backs, which are actually John Stone and Lieutenant Dan here. And then at goalkeeper, we are going with the cheapest English goalkeeper, which is Heaton throwing John Terry, who is the cheapest Chelsea player in these positions right now. Completing the squad at 59 chemistry, 62 rating. And let's submit. We get 1,500 coins back, which means that the total uh, price of the squad after we get the 1,500 coins is 2,900 coins. So only 2,900 coins for a two rare player pack. But before we open that pack, let's complete the other three squad building challenges as well. Next up, we've got Heronveen versus Ajax, where you need one Heronveen player, one Ajax player. The overall rating needs to be at least 75, and the chemistry only needs to be 75. Our reward ends up being a 17.5 gold players pack. And note that you do not need to use all Eredivisie players. I, I assume that a lot of people think that, but you don't actually have to do it. So this is the cheapest way. Every single Spanish player you see on this screen here, we got for 400 coins. Every single one of them is 400 coins. And then we've got the two players that are the requirements at the very end. We'll get to them at the end. So at goalkeeper, we're going with Quelar at center back, Albin Tosa, and Sua is our other center back at left back. We've got Escu Zero at right back. We have got Lopez. Mesa is at center defensive mid. We've got Mosquera at center midfielder. And then at left midfielder, Sarabia. At striker, we've got Soldado to finish off all of our uh, Spanish players. And then our our Ajax player is going to be Zayac. I sniped him for 950. He goes for about 1,400 regularly. I'd consider trying to snipe him as well. And then we ended up sniping a silver right winger from uh, Heronveen. We got him for 1,500 coins. So very good there there as well. You, if you find a cheaper Heronveen right mid bronze card, that would also work. So you can try that as well. But that is the cheapest. I was able to get it very, very cheap. And we get a 17.5k uh, for that. So we'll go ahead and submit it. And then next up, we've got Racing Club versus Independiente. For this one, we need one Racing Club player, one Independiente player, one Argent or 11 Argentinians, along with a 77 rating and chemistry of 90. This was actually quite easy to get yourself a 17.5k gold players pack. And what we did for using the Racing Club and Indian Independiente players, we went with Tagliafico, uh, left back for 1,300 coins that I sniped for a little bit cheaper than what he goes for, along with Rosales for 1,200 from Racing Club. We throw them over there on the left side of the squad, and then for the rest of the squad, we're focused on using Argentinians and getting this to 77 rated. This Garay is only 850 coins, and considering it's 84 rated, that's perfect because we need the uh, 77 rating. At goalkeeper, we went with Armani because he's super cheap at 550 coins. At other center back, we got Cabral for 750 coins. At right back, we have got Chimino, a 67 rated right back because the gold right backs are over 1,500 coins, but Chimino is 60. 67 rated and you can use any right back Argentinian that is 65 rated or above I believe maybe 66 or 67 rated or above but basically any silver right back Argentinians will work here at center mid we've got Penalba Penalba from Tijuana is going to be um, not Tijuana Vela Cruz is going to be 500 coins and then we've got Jakob from West Brom Albion who is 80 rated at right midfielder we are going with Castro 
At striker, we're going with DeSanto and Romero. And then as you guys can see, once we add Romero to the squad, it is 98 chemistry along with 77 rating. And that will complete the squad. If you guys... um cannot find a right back that works you can use another center back or a left back argentinian at right back and still get over 90 chemistry but right back is the toughest position for the squad in my opinion let's go ahead and submit it and head into the final squad building challenge which is toronto fc versus montreal impact for Toronto FC and Montreal Impact, we need one player from both squads, 11 MLS players, different clubs for each position, and a minimum of 80 chemistry. But we don't have a requirement of rating or gold, so we can use bronze cards. But getting that 80 rating and 11 clubs is the hardest part, and also finding the cheapest way to do so. And I've got the exact cheapest way you can do this. As you can see, we've got three goalkeepers here. We're going to put one goalkeeper, Edwards Jr. in goalkeeper, and then we're going to use Tarbell at center back. And then we're going to use Rawls at right back. These goalkeepers are 200 coins each. And note that center backs are over 1,200 coins for the most part. And right backs are even more expensive than the center backs. So going with goalkeepers here saves you a couple thousand coins. At left center back, there's no uh, avoiding it. You need to buy one uh, center back there. And we went with David from FC Dallas. At left back, we have got Fisher from the Sounders. He is a little bit more expensive as well at 1,000 coins. And then we've got Lou Catero. He's going to be 400 coins at center defensive mid. At left wing, we went with Halasi. And the left wings are cheaper than the left mids, so that's why we went with Halasi there. And he is from Sporting KC. At center midfielder, we've got Holness. And he is from Real Salt Lake. And he's only going to be, I believe, 200 coins at right center midfielder. We have got Endo, one of our Toronto players. Toronto players, we got him for 900 coins on a snipe. But he's probably going to cost about 1,500 if you don't snipe him. At right wing, we've got a New York Red Bulls guy. His name is Mole. And the right wingers are a lot cheaper than the right mids. So we went with him at right wing. And then at striker, we went with Drogba. There are other Montreal Impact strikers that you can try to get for a little bit cheaper. But Drogba is the cheapest right now. And this is a... Uh, avoiding getting um, him going up in price. He's going to be 750 throughout the weekend, most likely. So MS Striker gets it up to 80 rating exactly, the um, or 80 chemistry exactly. The rating doesn't matter, and that is how we are going to finish it. We get a silver players pack in reward, along with a 1,000 coins as well. So let's go ahead and open these packs. We have just completed the marquee matchups squad building challenge. As you can see, we have five different packs, including a 15k pack, two 17.5k pack, a silver players pack, along with a two rare gold players pack. Those things have been given out to people. So we're going to save the best for last, starting off with the 15k pack. Hopefully, we can get something good to start it off. Rare gold card. Borja Valero, it looks like. Not a great pack. Let's see if we've got anything else in the pack. We've got Sané, Sao. Bendetto, Marino, and Akuna. Akuna from Racing Club is actually going to sell for a bit, so that's good. We've got over a thousand coins for him. Let's head into the next pack. For the 17.5k packs, they act as 25ks, except for you only get one rare player rather than three. In this pack, we didn't even get a high rated rare card over 79. We may have even gotten a rare card as a silver, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. Horrible pack. But, nonetheless, maybe a couple of these guys sell for a little bit from League Un, but that was just a terrible pack. For the next 17.5k pack, hopefully we can get a rare card on the gold. And there we have it. It's going to be a Cam from Zenit. Looks like it's going to be a Giuliano. I used his inform earlier this year, and it wasn't amazing, but it definitely wasn't bad. Along with, in this pack, we got um, somebody from Air to VC. He's going to go for probably around 1,000 coins, so we'll send him to the transfer list. But again, not a great pack. Getting down to the last two packs here, we've got a silver players pack. These packs can actually be very, very good sometimes. So hopefully we get some League Un or Pro League players in this pack. Maybe some MLS as well. And we have gotten ourselves just absolutely horrible pack luck. Possibly this Portuguese League player going for a bit. Looks like he goes for around 1,000 coins. But nothing much else in this pack it doesn't look like. We'll send all these guys to the transfer list. For the final pack, what I've been waiting for, we get the two rare gold players pack. The chance of getting a walkout in this pack is much higher than any other pack. I guess other than 100Ks and stuff like that. But it doesn't look like we're getting a walkout here. It's going to be a shitty Fiorentina player. 
Illich in an absolutely horrible streak of packs for us. Um, we've got uh, Pereira from OGC Nice maybe going for a couple thousand, but absolutely horrible pack luck. Hopefully your guys' pack luck is going to be better. If you have any sympathy for how awful my pack luck is, please drop a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace! Ow! What the fuck is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Elite Suite, and today I'm bringing you the Premier League Player of the Month Squad Building Challenge Guide for the Eden Hazard SBC card.